Good morning, Kelly Snow. I am going to show you this journal if I can get this dang camera. I'm trying. All right, let's see if we can do it like that. Oh, I need to get a new setup here. <laughs> I say this every time lately. This new desk, I need something to happen here. I'm trying to get in here, you guys, for some reason. Nothing's happening here, for Pete's sakes. Everything I'm trying to do this morning isn't working, so there we go. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Everything I'm doing today doesn't work, so I don't know if you guys... <laughs> I mean, literally, this thing doesn't even work, so. And I have to have it, pretty much. Oh, well, sorry. Guess I gotta sit here and do this. Lame. I have to have this, otherwise, those of you who know videos, do videos already know. If you don't watch yourself, then you have to wait for the video to download, and it takes forever, and there's errors, and half the time it doesn't work, and blah, blah, blah. YouTube is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> I hate it so much. Okay. We got it. Such a pain in the butt and all these things you have to work around all the time. But at least I'm in. It's on. I see my video. <laughs> Here it is. Sorry that was so long. Okay. We got it. Nice. All right, let me just find a spot to set this now so I can see it. I thought I had everything ready, but you know. You know, the spot I had all worked out didn't work, so I have to mess with the whole thing and Okay, let's see. This one is so fun. It's so huge. I feel like I'm able to make my huge books again because my strings aren't going to break because I'm doing it Midori style, so I have it banned. So you can take this signature out and put another one in when you're done with this one. Or, you know, put a new, a new one in. Or you can take it out to work on it, too. That's what I love. It's so awesome. Okay, let me just figure out where my... Where my camera is now. <laughs> I guess it looks like right here. Okay, so I guess this is like regular size. I mean, let's just look here. Oh, nine and a half. That's pretty big. I guess this is a big one, isn't it? Nine and a half by six and a half. I guess it's a little bit bigger than normal. And it's just stuffed. This one's really big. And then I used my scissor fabric, which I love. I only have a little bit of it left. And then the blue seam bindings from my shop. And I put, I didn't do process videos on this. I don't know. I've showed you guys every single thing, so. I I just kind of, I didn't have time because I have company coming and stuff. But anyways, I love this little stitching piece right here that I put over it. 
and it has stitching on the back. I just like it. It covered up the spine good, and I like the scissors, and there's a doily piece, and then, um, you know, just some laces and stuff. This is Tsunami Rose sewing kit here. I didn't link it yet, but I will when I'm done. And then I just put the little holes in, and then I, I put um, felt underneath um, on the front and back so that it looks a little puffy. And then um, the one thing I have not done on this yet is I was gonna put something on the inside cover, but I don't know. I just like the scissors. And I'm not used to this not being sewed in either. You know, when you use the bands and it's a soft spine, so it's not, you know, like completely, you know, you can take it out and move it around and stuff. So, you know, it's just, you gotta kind of get used to it. But, but anyways, let me get my book set here and let's go through this because there's a lot here and I did so much work. OMG, right? <laughs> so I'm waiting for my lag. This is how far behind I am. Sorry. Okay. I think we got it. Where am I at here? Is this... We can move this out of the way so we don't see the dang black blackness. All right, so this is basically an envelope journal that I sewed signatures in between each. So you can see all the strings there and it's held together by, I did a process video on this part, held together by fabric. So there's lots of strings in here and it looks like a regular book, right? And I decorate and stuff my signatures so much that I'm always, worried about my strings breaking so doing it this way I can make the signatures as big as I want and I don't have to worry about the strings breaking so I'm happy about that I'm trying to figure out what this black thing is right here that I'm seeing maybe it's my other light I thought it was this one anyway okay so um, so anyways, so this is a business envelope and this is real junky. It's ripped up. There's tears there, you know, it's like grungy and stuff. And so, you know, it's kind of fun. And then I did the, you know, little strip and I covered it with paper and put the buttons in there. Let me get this down here some more then see where I'm at. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm sorry, for my leg to see so you guys can make sure you can see good. There we go. I know there's a glare, but that's okay. Anyways, and then I just put, this is real, um, you know, measuring tape. I have lots of sewing ephemera. It's in my shop if you need some. And um, the seam binding's in there too. So anyways, so here's the first envelope. And in between each envelope, I have a signature sewn into the fabric. So... So anyways, I love these big envelopes here for storage and I'm using um, Tsunami Rose sewing kit here and another one. Shoot, I can't remember. I'll have to link it when I'm done. But I just put full printout pages in there just to get extra writing space. And then um, I put in one of my little junky little tablets right here with coffee stain paper. This stuff I think is... Kristen's that she made me and then I put it's a stamp of sewing on here and then here's a piece of an old I think it's an old towel somebody sent me Shelly Cupid I think and then this kit is from someone else and I can't remember who it is right now but um, I was watching Roxy Creations for this and I'll link the video um, she's the one that inspired me to make it like this the corners are clipped so that your band can fit in well and it doesn't crunch the pages and stuff so um, she's a really good teacher, so that was really fun to hang out with her. So anyways, um, the little iron and the little spindle there full of thread, so it's a half page. And then it's got my coffee stain paper on the other side, and, that, and that's where you can see the little where I cut the corners so the band can fit in. And then I put in, this is all sewing stuff, so this is an actual page that's been used you know with that roller 
And then this is pages from a book that teaches you how to make lace. And then this seam binding is from my shop. It's the same that's on here and it's been inked and crinkled and stuff. So these are just vintage pages from several different sewing style books. And then this is Tsunami Rose and I just inked and sewed around. And this is a heavy one. We um, did some hot glue gun wax seals and then I just made a couple of these little things, but it's pretty heavy and it wants to fall out all the time, even though it's cute. But anyways, I put the corset on here and some of this vintage lace and all this really fine baby doll stuff um, I have in my shop. If you want to go look and these are, oh, this is that kit Elizabeth sent me. Shoot, I wish I remembered what it was, but I'll have to link it for you guys. It's really fun. And then my coffee stain paper on the dot pan and I did some script stamping. And I left this. It's got a hole in it and stuff, you know. <laughs> I like it like that, personally. Really grungy and ratty. Script stamping. And then I put in, these are from 1959. They're work basket. Um, just little pages. And it has an address here and stuff. And it's just, you know, the sewing book from back in the day. So I just like to have a few old pages in there. It's kind of fun. And then here's where I use the sewing ephemera from my shop. I have several different ways that I use it. And um, so I'll just point it out as I'm going through. But, but anyways, I put a little bald pin here with a little measuring tape charm. And then I used the snaps for a little tuck spot. So just cute from... Tsunami Rose, and then a couple little cards Kristen sent me yesterday, and I just printed them out and just made a little tuck spot here and put those in, and that's a Tim Holtzy butterfly, and then another, so here's the tip-in envelope, coffee stained it on the grate pan, and I put some of Daisy's stuff on the inside, cute little papers, and um... So it opens up like this, so it's a tip in, you know. And on my coffee stain paper here, and I have to wait and see if you can see this or if I have to move it. So, sorry, but it takes a lot. Oh, no, you can see it kind of, I guess. It looks dark, though, doesn't it? Or is it just me? Let me see. Oh, no, I guess it's okay. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but let's see. How about if I do that? Is that better? I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so this is really cute. It's a little, a little tablet of scraps. Let me show you. I think I'll have to zoom back out again. It's not working this close up. I wanted it to, but it's not quite being... There, is that better? Not quite being normal here. I'm trying, you guys. This new setup is hard. <laughs> Anyways, another great underwear sale and national corsets. Kristen sent me these yesterday, so I have no idea where she got them from. But anyways, here's my little scrappy tablet. It's really cute. Just bits and pieces of lace on the ends and the edges of each of each little piece and so it ends up to be a cute little cute little thing there and then again with the full page of tsunami roses sewing kit on the inside for fun so there's lots of writing space this is a huge journal so you're not gonna run out of spots to write anytime soon <laughs> And I love my coffee stained paper. This was done on the dot pan and it's all grungy and stuff. And I like grunge, so. Okay, and then if you don't like this sticking out like this, you can just cut it off. I left it hanging out, but it does hang out of the book cover. So I don't know if you don't like that, that's fine. But you can just cut it off if you don't like it. And then women's lounge jacket. Here's another tip in and it flips down like this. So it hides, kind of hides your writing spot. And then I did some script stamping. And then this is interesting. This is a piece of uh, zipper 
um, packaging. I like to use the packaging for different stuff. And then here's another band. If you don't like the green one on the front, you can switch it with this one. And this is purple, obviously. And then I used fabric strip here because I didn't realize that it was variegated. So it was going to rip off. So I was like, oh, shoot. Anyway, so I put in another little signature here. I put in and I did some button stamping and I did all the edges of all the paper. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And they're all coffee stained. I think this is Kristen's or, well, I think it's Kristen or um, Rachel Barton, I think. She sent me some too. And then here's the middle. This one's even ripped, you know, button stamping and coffee staining and all these stamps here. So there's a whole signature right here just for writing. And you can just take it out too because it's just on bands. So if you don't want it. If it's too thick, there's a lot of stuff in here you can take out. Button stamping again. Then this is more sewing, different kinds of sewing paper. And then you can see the Coates and Clark, the different zipper stuff back here. But it was zipper packaging and I just glued it on there and put my little band on. So you got an extra signature there. So that's kind of fun. This is cute. I made this little thing down here. It's actually, I was trying to mimic like a stamp holder or something. So it's just cardstock that I sewed with brown thread. And then that's just tracing paper over the top that I ripped. And then for my sewing books, I always save like all this weird stuff. So I save all my tags from when I buy lace and stuff. I buy vintage lace. It's in my shop if you need some. And I save all my little pieces from garage sales and I save all my tickets from my clothes when I shop and stuff so I can put it all in here. Anyways, there's four little pockets so that's fun. And then I just put, you know, a couple little tags in here. These are cute. This one I think was from a magazine. I forget. Just cute little tags. This is, was a hinged in and then there's a little this is in my shop this pink lace and then the little envelope and these are tsunami rose little tickets i love the tickets they're so cute here's another piece of that paper that you roll on i forget what it's called and then there's some hand dyed lace here that i did and then here's a tag from the back of one of our shirts or something. I don't know. I always take the tags off of everything so I can use them for my sewing journal. So I use it for a tab. So that's really fun. And then here's another kit page with the needles and stuff. And it just opens and there's just writing spots. And it's coffee stain with some pink. I think it's paint that I just kind of swished in a little bit, you know, on the end. So that's a cute kit page. And it's inked and sewn. Everything's sewn. And the other side with all the bobbins and stuff. And it's just a pale pink. It's really pretty. And then here's the next envelope. So that's where this is sewn in again for the signature on both sides. So I just coffee stained on the grate pan, which I love. So I left this for writing. I put a pink little tab here. And then I've got a rusty old clip here holding on something. And then I cut it open here to put in... Um, piece of the kit page. This kind of matches the front cover a little bit. Kind of the same imagery. And then I made this cool little thing. I used to have these in my shop, but nobody bought them. And they were in there for years. And personally, I use them over and over again, but I guess it's just me. But anyways, I made this cool little thing. It's out of the zipper fabric. I mean, the scissor fabric from the front. And it's just a old sewing kit that I found and then you open it up like this and I photocopied it. I used it a long time ago in a journal but I like the way it looks even photocopied and it's got the pins and needles and the thread and the you know fabric and stuff in there. I don't know I just think it's neat so I just always make one <laughs> to put in my books when I, so I have several different kinds of little sewing books in here. So it's kind of fun. I don't know, just for a little thing. I don't know. You can just hide something in there or whatever. <laughs> so I just stick it here and let the flap hang out and 
clip it on and it's all rusty and stuff. So that's kind of fun. And then on the back, it's just some cute little ephemera, her sitting at a machine with the kids and the doggies and kitties. And I put a repair tag in here with some string for a tuck spot. So it's really fun to have those. And then the envelope does have, I showed you already the paper inside. So that just sits in there nice. And then kit page again with the needle holder sewn around here with and inked and stuff there's a teal thread on the back and then I stamped the dress form because it's right here on the tag and this sari ribbon is from my shop I linked it in the description box beautiful colors right now rusty pin and here's a ruffle I think Kristen made me and sent Kristen from group, she's our new admin. On top of that old book again for with the lace. And then this is just clipped in. It's just, it's coffee stained paper on the back. And it says Paris and it's just cute. A little place to write and stuff. With some button stamping. And this is uh, dress making and I put some sari down here and beads and stuff and I love these scissors and then it flips up for two other spots to write and then I did some stamping in there for script stamping script stamping and then I love this it's an old piece of singer book I love the edge um, this is like a owner's manual piece so I just tipped it in script stamping so there's lots of writing spots in here workspace you could do lots of different stuff script stamping again this is the cover to that lace book that I've been using this whole time. One of the magazines. I love this. Ten cents. But anyways, I made it into like a little envelope so I can put stuff in. And then this is actually tracing paper in here. So you can write over top of all this now. And um, it'll work fine. Or storage, whatever you would like. Here's some tatting here. This is September 1959 page which I love. So here's another tip in of junk mail. I love envelopes, I'm envelope crazy. This is an envelope journal, so. And I just glued some tape there. Here's the one of the tops to our thread, a tsunami rose flower. Just a page out of the book, pattern, script stamp, coffee stained envelope. And then it just opens for some more writing space, some more Vintage Magazine, September 1959, and then another kit page. Tsunami Rose kit page for writing, extra writing space. I love to save the button tops for, I mean, the thread tops for, for decorations. And then I love this one because she's got all the aprons on. I love that. It's just cute. And then it, it's just a flipper so you can write back there and script stamping and then I love this I always save my garage sale tags and these are just like washi tape so you could probably take them off but I did glue a little bit right here but these round ones you could if you don't like them but I I think it's fun and then I always use my empty little seam bindings. I save these for little writing spots or places to put like lace and stuff. So that's really cute for a little spot to write. And a little button card. I love button cards. I put some seam binding from my shop and then just a little tucky right here. And I love the little pin script stamping, sewed, teal thread, dot pan, and ink. I love this pale pink. Here's a little bingo, sewing bingo card from Daisy, Tsunami Rose. So I inked around, sewed with white thread, and I put a little fabric tab on the bottom for so it flips down so you can write in both spots. Pink tab right here, this is the, the other envelope. So you can, there's paper inside there you can pull out and then another little tuck spot and another one of these tags I've been putting in. 
I was going to cut the top of this, but I forgot. But you can still take this out. It's easy. It's fine. Kit page again. I forget the name of this. Darn it. This is not daisies. But I'll link it when I, when I get done here. I'll link all the stuff that I used. But I love that. It's cute. Again, I just inked it up and then I sew around. And this is the middle here because here's your string, see? But you can always switch it out with that purple one if you like the purple one better. Or you could use any kind, you know, if you have your own too. It's That's the beauty of it. That's what's really fun. Okay, so this is going to get cute here for a second. The middle is um, kind of about dolls. And Elizabeth sent me all this cute inspiration, so I used her stuff. Anyways, here's some pink paint inside my coffee and I script stamp and inked around the edge and then I used one of her little she's got a hanger here with a little dress and a little purse hanging on the end and all the pieces to use for the dress and the little doggy and the purple lace here it's just so cute and then she put all the hats on this card it's just so cute and then you can Right on the back and she's got all the trims hanging here of everything she's going to use to make all the little dresses and stuff it's just cute so thank you elizabeth for those and this is on top of a doll making piece here's some carbon paper you can write on this and it'll come off on the other side remember that when you were a kid i love this Oh my gosh. And then here's another one of Elizabeth's cute little things. It's got a couple little dresses here and some trim. And I put the purple ones in here because of this. And then it's just on with the clip and there's velvet there. So that's really cute. Little hanger. I love those. And then I just got a couple. And then here's my little dolly. She's cute. She flips up this way. And then here's the other end of the pat doll pattern. And then the little toys. And here's another piece of that sewing book again with the edges that I like. And then here's another one of Elizabeth's. Here's the little dolly and all her clothes are hanging off here. Her hat on pins and she's got the umbrella and some lace and little hats and purses and stuff. So. These all come off and you can put them on here. And she just got this cute, cute little stuff here. Elizabeth made these. Another kit page that's really pretty. I love this one with the scissors and stuff. And then another Tsunami Rose bingo card that flips down just like the last one. I did some scissor stamping. And the pink tabs are on these ones. So you can write here. And then it has um, cute little accessory spots and some really pretty little trim. And you can wrap like lace around here using for tuck spots, however you want to do it. And then there's a few little tags in here, dress tags and some extra writing paper from the kit. So that's cute page again with the scissors and the buttons. I just love the color on this. Inked and sewn. Coffee stained. Teal thread on the in the bobbin. Script stamping. This is fun. Here's another one of my little my little spots to write. And then I have a little coin envelope up here that I stapled on with the little mini stapler. You know, these pieces that come in the sewing kits. So I put a couple pins in here and just put it on here for decoration. It looks kind of fun. So you flip it open. Little Tsunami Rose thing. I forget where I got this piece, but little scissors tag that fits in. Pretty cute. And then there's another tag inside. If you want. And it's a tucky, but I didn't put nothing in there. What the heck? But you can put something up there if you want to. This side's really fun. I just did a side pocket here and put some sewing kits in here. Here's another one that I used to have in my shop, but I quit putting it in there because nobody buys it. But I love it. It's an old sewing kit, and you open it up like this with the flaps. 
And I just put coffee stain paper in the back. But you could stamp or put lines. Sometimes I put fabric. I've done a lot of different kinds of stuff with this. But it's pretty fun because it, it looks like an army one or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just like it. So I photocopied it. And it just sticks in here. And then this is fun. It's This is um, a printout that didn't work. It has all the lines in it because my ink is getting low you know so i put coffee stain paper on the back or no i might have printed this out on cardstock already maybe white thread and then i put napkin and stuff down with matte medium and then i put tracing paper over the top so it's all weird now and stuff but it hides the lines and makes it look more vintage. And even if the lines show through now, you can't really tell. So anyways, writing spot and it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> I just like how it feels. And then here's some more pattern paper of, from something. I don't know what it was, but something it's neat. And you can write on this for sure. Little half page and it has another one of the tags in it from a shirt. One size fits all little tag. <laughs> This is some kind of sewing paper. I really don't know what it is, but it's glossy on this side and matte on this side. So I just left it so you can write on it. And then I always like... What is this called? I forget. Ledger. Yeah, ledger. I like the bottom of this. It's cool. And it was cut like this. It was sent to me like that. So I just left it. Another place to write. Here's another tag from some clothes... And I just left it here and you can, you know, tucky stuff underneath there if you want to. And then on this side, it's another tag from a store. And then this is all the velvet pieces. This is really cute. Um, like little samples of all the velvet choices. Elizabeth made that again. Isn't that cute? I love it. And then the other side of the pattern paper and it's hinged in kit page folded over white thread on this side teal thread on this side little thimble I love that here's Remington vintage sewing machine with the same tags kind of I've been using this is some really nice thread I'm telling you I saved it for like five years it, the guy actually has bees, and he put his own bee wax on here. And, oh, God, it smelled so good. I couldn't stand it. I saved it for as long as I could and smelled it when I could. <laughs> anyway, here's another one of the envelopes, but I cut it open and left it so you can use it for um, writing, and then you can tuck stuff under here, too, so it's kind of neat. Script stamping and stuff, so it opens up, opens right up. If you want to, I love the dot pan. It's got some washi tape, Tim Holtz washi tape there. Kit page again. And it's got my pink paper. This is in the shop too. I got several different variations of this, but I love the color. It always comes out good. One of Daisy's postcards. This kind of matches the cover. And then a men's alteration tag with the men's tweed vest from that magazine these are fun to play with so I left them plain so you could try yourself you know playing with these kind it's kind of fun lace magazine it flips down like this so you can write and hide your writing if you want to just coffee stained paper and then here again is one of my cute little and there's a little dolly inside I love that Here's a couple more of my little sewing kits. This one is just a printout of an old sewing kit that I had and I just photocopied it, printed it out and just use it for a cool little writing spot now. It's just fun, you know. This one I made, um, but it was actually a sewing kit by itself, but I ripped it apart to use it in the books and then I'm like, that was dumb. <laughs> So I fashioned it back together. 
I sewed this on so it's not going to fall out. So this is some old tape and this is the original cardboard little piece that the needles came on with. But I put fabric on the place where it bends because it was starting to get old. And then I just added the felt strip, the felt pieces and cut them with the scissors. I did all that myself and then just stuck the cuties in. So you can take these off. They're just pinned and they're just flops. They flop. So there's a couple needles, a couple pins. It's just cute, you know, cute little thing like that. Oops, it goes like this. Cute little actual sewing little book. I did a bunch of big sewing books. Those are in my shop too, but I had to do a little one. Cause that's cute. Glassine bags here in my shop too. I have all different sizes. These ones I just left clear because I still wanted to see the page and I like to see what was inside the bag. But it's a lot of bulk, so it's pretty thick. So if you want to take it out, you can just have it on the side. A little tuck spot and just a, a tag with my, I love, this is the beige um, sari ribbon from my shop, coffee stained. I was going to stamp this, but I really like the dark edge, so I... So I didn't, I left it. Script stamping. A couple, this one's even ripped. Just a couple old pages from needle books, you know. Just for fun. Sewing supplies and just old pages I like to mix in. This one I cut with the pinking shears. And these ones I got, this is embossed roses here I got from one of the gals. I hinged it in. Cheryl Williams, I think, sent me this. It's really pretty. Nice coffee stain and script stamp and just left it in so you can write in a pretty little spot. Kind of a matching envelope here. Just lace in my sari and there's places to put things. And then here's another one of my, you know, tags like that with the... And then this is just an old sewing magazine. And one of Daisy's little spots, journaling cards, I made into a tuck spot and put some old lace here and sewed it around. Here's another one of my weird pieces that I put napkins over and sewed around the edge and coffee stained on the back. And I don't know, I just like these kind. <laughs> I put several of them in here. Pinking shears again. Script stamping. Cut, pin, sew, repeat, lace. And here's another one of my, I just like these. I put three of them in here. With all the stuff, you know, I love the crunchy napkin. Like I like the wrinkles and stuff. So I leave it on here and I love matte medium and the ink and just the way it is and sounds and stuff. I just like it. It's Nice. <laughs> Just the old sewing pages. This one's about a hook rug. I love that. And then here's another kit page, but I love my pink paper on the inside. It's so pretty. I love it. And then this is Tim Holtz washi. And then this is a vintage envelope that is from um, the needle craft department. So I thought that was really neat and it has the old address on there and stuff and it's from New York and it's a needle craft department. So there's some kind of cool like sewing stuff inside here. I don't even know exactly what it is, but something neat. <laughs> the sewing department. So it's got, you know, lace and all kinds of stuff in here, edging patterns and stuff. Crocheted edging patterns, it says. So that's fun. It's pretty old. And then the scissors again, and you can see where the overlap came right here with the for the spine. And then it's got pink sewing all the way around the thread. And I just wrap the fabric to meet in the middle. And then there's my hole for the for the seam binding. So there it is. 
Thank you very much. See how it sticks out right here? But you can always cut that off if you don't like it. And plus, it's not sewn in, so it's not like super snug. But, but when you tie this, it kind of helps everything stick back inside. There. I love this one so much. I just love this part right here where that blue stitching is. I love it so much. It was off the edge of, you know, something. I forget now. I think it was a doily, but it's really neat because I just like how it looks. And it's the perfect color and stuff. So anyways, it's listed in my shop for sale. And the link is there. Okay. So thanks for coming. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys later, okay? Ooh, sheesh. Thank you. Thanks for the thumbs up, too. I appreciate that. Bye.